So, I'm going to make a next uh, talk. Let's talk about my experience of gay prototyping with uh, Moai and Law, of course. Uh, it should be <coughs> just uh, my pieces of experience, not only in Law or Moai, but maybe in kind of philosophy in, in the development and pre production process, and I think. This can be useful for any kind of people, for beginners, that will give a whole picture of <coughs> what we can do and what, what the <coughs> whole process of game development looks like. And for professional maybe there will be a kind of checklist, possible ways of implementation, something like this. So I, will s <coughs> I divided my presentation to <coughs> in first part, it will be mostly about uh, pre-production uh, and development, and another will cover something about uh, implementation, something in law, what benefits we have, what problems was encountered by me, <coughs> and uh, when I will do a kind of uh, conclusion, what was okay, what was wrong, and what. What is uh, what can be used by any kind of people who who wants to, to make their own games? <coughs> so this is a roadmap for the first part. I will start from what we have. We have an, our objectives, and it's a main point. What I'm going to do, really, <coughs> and which kind of constraints you have. Uh, for example, for me it can be this, this constraints and for uh, King it's <laughs> another kind of constraints. But it, <coughs> it involves uh, different priorities then and then the whole structure of reproduction of, and production can be different. So when we speak about blend abstraction layers, you know, for the, for the guys who are experienced enough, you, you understand what, 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 it, <coughs> what it can look like. But sometimes even in uh, AAA projects, I, I see the bugs and <laughs> these bugs covers and the fact that um, they did not uh, <coughs> use abstraction well. <coughs> and then we will choose a, try to formulate the requirements for a game framework <coughs> and uh, finally we will choose a game fr framework actually uh, which is a more <laughs> but I will explain why <coughs> so my objective um, I'm a co-founder of the logic editor and we started from developing of uh, in-house tools for <coughs> for game developers like visual editors uh, <coughs> also we developed some some games <laughs> uh, but now uh, our main focus is not in games but rather in high load services like rtb real-time bidding and advertising <coughs> so this game is just my pet project uh, and this this conception, uh, my conception, maybe we will <laughs> bring it to back to logic editor, but we'll see. <coughs> so I decided to make a tool set or tool for fast prototyping of more or less complex games. Not so complex like Civilization, for example, <laughs> but uh, but still complex. And the goal was is to have a process which will fastly bring prototypes into games. And I decided to, to make it for few platforms, I mean two mobile platforms at least, and it would be great to make a HTML5 also <coughs> to cover all the spectrum. So the first game should be complex enough. It has a kind of meta level it campaigns and also we can <coughs> say it, it has rating, medals, some kind of social interactivity 
and so on. And we have as mainly uh, in the campaign we have a set of strategical levels. It has a turn-based mechanics and uh, it plays on tiled map. <coughs> and the battle combat is looking like much free and uh, plus elements of uh, RPG because uh, you have kind of abilities you can <coughs> enhance with abilities. And the user have some properties, of course. Uh, and about user interface, as well, we were trying to, to develop mobile games, so we must support few screen resolutions, and we must provide all common game controls, and a special control for map view. Uh, it's a presentation for, for game map, and I found that uh, there are many similar things in different kinds of map. For example, the base class for my maps uh, is the same for much tree field, field and uh, strategical map also. They have similar similar subset of functions. And dialogues also. So the constant is very simple. We have just one part-time developer, it's me. And uh, I could spend enough time initially because we have a kind of a window in our main process, my main work in, uh, in logic editor. I could sacrifice maybe a month or two for, for my pet project. <laughs> <coughs> and then, of course, this window was over and I, I understand understood that we, I would not, would not have much time later. <laughs> And also, this is a kind of experienced uh, programmer, and this is, it's important for further strategy because if you are not so my big experience, not so familiar with uh, C code or so on, maybe it's better to use another frameworks. Maybe, maybe not. I will speak about it later. And uh, also, I just want to save some my time, so I, I was looking for something which has a good integration with some popular tools. And okay, I, I wasn't planning to hire another developers until I will be close to production. It's a draft, it's rather stop, stop screens from my game that was uh, released for Windows Mobile <coughs> in 2008. Uh, if you are starting a game, why not to, to use your own art? <laughs> and it's uh, also art from that game, it's a draft of strategical map. I just uh, placed it here to, to show what game should look like <laughs> for you. And this is a kind of tactical map, and uh, oh, okay, in this case it's much free field, but it's <laughs> just, a, just an implementation. So you have abilities here, you have personage, you have heroes, and you have this field. So you can say that uh, the game is similar to puzzle quest in some kind. Of. So, about prior priorities. Uh, we have two sets of priorities. First priority is um, about uh, what, what we want for s prototype and set of games. It must be fast, it's, it must high, have high quality of crucial components. I don't mean assets, uh, assets is uh, another question, but uh, we, we should provide uh, good support for operating these uh, assets uh, to, to make a good game. Huh. What? Hello, the night? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Apologies. Just a moment. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so also we, we want to support maximum number of platforms. And personally, I develop under Linux. I, I started from Windows, but uh, I don't like develop it under Windows now. So for me, the priority was to, to make game under, under Linux. And uh, 
not so much uh, engines uh, support modems that that days I started about two years ago. So <coughs> now we have, a, for example, the font. I will try to, to play with it <laughs> because it it looks okay, promising, <coughs> promising. Uh, and also another point was uh, if I have not so much time later and uh, the de developer pro progress can be a bit slower. Maybe during the, uh, my development some engine will die, for example, and I wanted to think about changing uh, game, develop game, game engine later, and so I was uh, ready, I, I should be ready to it. And that's uh, priorities for the first game. It's a fast setup of prototype and each prototype. Um, isn't quick tuning of game plan and you you are in prototype. And then I wanted to fast movement from prototype to release. Uh, also usage of third party tools. Um, and um, the concepts of games I had in mind they didn't involve much networking okay. It, it, it must be kind of leaderboards or ratings and so on, but uh, in-game experience doesn't involve uh, big, big interconnection with uh, other players. So <coughs> and, that, and the sum of concepts even was a single player things, maybe with an interesting gameplay. <coughs> And also, we should think about uh, maximum reuse of code and flexibility and power of the engine. And also, it's my requirement a minimal dependency from third party closed source solution because, uh, okay, because of slow progress, you can, you can lose something. <coughs> which will be not supported, and if you speak about open source, okay, you, you can extend it by yourself if you want. <coughs> so, there is a division into three parts, okay. So, basically, we, we must implement next, next parts of, in, in any game. Uh, first part is game model, of course. Uh, and it could, it has its own requirements, priorities. It can be must be tuned, extended quickly, and can be tested separately. I know this is obvious for for most of people, but sometimes I still look at the, I see the games. The game model is some kind is some part of the game model are made in uh, UI, for example, and uh, they then they try to to test it. Uh, it's a kind of problem because they cannot test separately these models. And another interesting thing that I thought about, it was um, moving server, moving some logic to the server without full implementation. So it's not that the case then you have a game logic a kind of mess and uh, you could, I couldn't afford this. <coughs> And it's strange, yeah, because I said that the games can run without network, but uh, another concept will involve the uh, server code and and okay, maximum of base functionality of the libraries. Um, same for prototype, but also prototype. Uh, I wanted to design it so it have a mi minimal dependency from low level things. So I wanted to isolate the low level as much as possible in libraries and have a other code uh, reusable which is laying under this this libraries and so that's the that's same thing the device hubs uh, hardly must hardly affect user code and this is the whole abstraction layers I, I plan to do and you see game specific code and then uh, you below it you have a kind of general, general lib I, I mean 
it will be uh, for instantiation, logging, something like this, maybe even networking, some, some other um, libs. Uh, another library is, of course, game model. It can be divided into some parts, for example, one, one part for much free game, one, one part is useful for strategical games, and uh, one part for <laughs> shooters, no. <laughs> and uh, UI library. And we also need uh, usually a third party library, mostly or UI. Okay, but we also need uh, kind of extensions for networking, for example, for login. But the, the most interesting part for here is uh, UI. And when we have a game or engine, find the end operation system. So our requirements can be formulated shortly, it must be flexible, extensible, fast, reliable, support as much tools as possible, um, at least the tools uh, you will use, and support maximum platform. And it looks like it should be open source. It's optional thing, but, but still I prefer open source. And, um, I, I should I, I could develop it uh, uh, under Linux, and I tried to look uh, to Corona first, Corona SDK. Um, but you know there is a two different concepts in the, in this world. One concept is to keep things as simple as possible and uh, minimal functionality, but but still enough. And uh, another concept is uh, to provide you any any access to all features all le low level and uh, okay second second approach is more powerful but uh, you must be more experienced experienced and maybe you also uh, need more much time because you will implement all the things they implement uh, in the first approach and I tried from Corona, and I can say, okay, there is a plus of it. It's very easy to prototype something, something easy. <laughs> uh, at Corona, first game may be done quickly, built-in functionality, IP is quite talk, and it's very easy to build, to build up because it's not you who build this. You, you send your, uh, your stuff to the server and they somehow comp compile and build it. But I, I found the lack of functionality for some, some places. And uh, for example, I tried to make a prototype making a web view and uh, run uh, my JavaScript implementation there. But uh, they, they, they did not implement some features of web view, so I, I couldn't do it in the way I wanted. And they also have uh, some bug. I don't know. Maybe they didn't have it now because it maybe last time I, I looked at Caron it was a year ago, maybe a year and a half. Uh, so, and uh, I know they, there is a kind of delay between uh, they can implement the features you want. For example, uh, people ask them to to implement support for IED, and uh, it was a year for. It, it took a year from Corona developers to, to, to add it. And you can do nothing with it. That's why you, 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 it's better to switch to open source because you can extend it by yourself or hire, hire a man who can do it. Uh, but in, in this kind of things, you, you just wait and that's all. And remote compilation so, so also showstopper for me because I want to control the process. And uh, <coughs> so um, implementation overview. Uh, now we have a general part: instantiation, uh, login, network, and of course social network connectors. Uh, we have a game model. Okay, it's loops of. Uh, game loop, uh, actors, um, various maps, various uh, artificial <coughs> intelligence objects, so on. And we have uh, also model controller. I I call this uh, 
player actions, uh, it's uh, the things that are gener raised by server, maybe, and maybe also user interface in our case, and it's kind of message messaging pipe to to the model, and uh, and you the the main feature uh, the main model you you should implement in this kind of games uh, it's a uh, user interface so if you if you choose corona you, you don't implement resource management reloader and put handling okay you implement that in, in a rather simpler way and uh, you, you don't implement primitive controls until you happy with uh, what they have <coughs> and uh, in case of MOI, you should do it by yourself or tell, take it from from another source, from another project. Mm -hmm. So implementing of game model and general things doesn't involve much knowledge about MOI because uh, it's, uh, it doesn't depend on the hardware things. So I. You you should use uh, my app to, to inst instantiate. You you should use login, okay, timer maybe for game loop and some kind of events, but that's all. And uh, <coughs> also, it was useful uh, thing. Uh, Rapa Nui library. It's kind of a very weak code, and in terms of law, it's a kind of it. It is not released, so when you try to, to use it, you must <coughs> fix it much. Uh, they have many strange errors, uh, things where, where they tried to implement uh, the, the features and failed, but still Rapano is a uh, very simple thing, so you can just fix it by yourself and uh, that's okay. Uh, okay, model control doesn't involve uh, any parts of MOI at all. <coughs> and user interface involves. You, you must handle input and it's not so, so hard to do. You must uh, draw your, your images, your sprites and textures and uh, your map. So it involves some, some classes. Uh, Controls and panels, they are almost implemented in Rapanui, but for some, uh, some specific things you, you need to, to, to go to MOI and implement by yourself. And map U, that was a cool feature of MOI uh, deck remapper. You know, basically MOI things are concept is you have a deck and you have a props. Deck it's a storage for kind of geometry and props it's an object you can use in the, in the main object or the, or the engine. And deck remapper it's a cool thing that uh, allows you to make animation for example for map uh, and just remapping index, indices of sprites, uh, of, of uh, textures. Mm. So that's the uh, levels I had. Finally, it's uh, our libraries, game yeah, specific code, is, and uh, all the features uh, dependent on current the imagine was is isolated in the library, so game specific code is uh, is free. Benefits, you know, uh, I can say that it's this the co the quality of code uh, of my is ex extremely high. I didn't found find any parts there. I once or twice uh, had to implement something for sub, uh, like support for menu hardware button or something like this to, 
So I did just uh, maybe two bindings and uh, ten, ten, ten lines of code in, in C, but uh, that's all. And there was no errors. That, that's very good. And it's implemented. That you understand when you see this, uh, this engine, you understand that uh, guys who developed it, they are experienced in this domain. So you are talking at the same language, not unlike Corona for me. Corona was implemented, there was features they will, you will never need and uh, there was no features you, you will need each day. Very strange. And uh, here, uh, when you think, of, think that a feature must be, you will look into the documentation or, or source code and you see, okay, this feature is here. And um, it's open source, so it's uh, well self-documented, easy, easy to extend it. And uh, I said here that it has uh, good uh, documentation. That, but then I speak about documentation. It's no documentation, not only documentation, uh, formal documentation, but also a set of samples, examples they have. And these examples covers all the features of the engine. It's very good. Thing, so you can bring some knowledge from these examples and they are very <coughs> aspect oriented so uh, that's, that's very good. And it supports tools, uh, maybe not uh, only MOI but uh, Rapanui, so you, if you have tiled map editor like me, uh, you can easily use your maps in, uh, in game and school and also texture packers. Also and what is good for when you use this section, uh, usually the users, uh, other users are very strong developers, so you can uh, take some knowledge from them, you can talk to them, and that's very strong benefit for me. And okay, it runs under Linux, but I will say a few words about it. <coughs> So the problems encountered, not so much problems, and they are quite solvable, but still, community is small, unlike Coronas, for example. Coronas is a huge community, uh, but, it's, uh, but it's skilled, so it's okay. And uh, about GUI frameworks, the situation looks like they, they have a Rapanui, they have another uh, framework there. The code is not uh, very good, uh, but uh, you can fix it, or you can switch to one of two frameworks uh, for MOI. For example, a guy who Maka talk, he, he developed his own framework, but I didn't uh, use it because uh, I just wanted some parts of framework. It was not so, so easy to, to take uh, just them. And the whole framework, I, I didn't need it. And bugs and functionality. As I said, I saw no bugs in, in MOI at all, and I saw bugs in Rapanoi. <coughs> but as for MOI, they period periodically they broke the build process under Linux. I don't know why, but uh, you take new code, for example, Last week it worked, and now you take it and it doesn't work. So I stored my personal branch of fixes to these build scripts, and it worked. <coughs> and for building under OS X, it was okay. So, is this game worth the candle? It's a discussable question because from okay, it, it's worth, but you still need uh, need to be very skilled, and so you need the basic skills. You can you must understand the architecture of your engine, your app. Your sometimes you go to the low level details of implementation. Uh, you you also must read. Uh, Apache code and uh, game engine code also, of course, and uh, you should uh, be familiar to uh, debugging without debugging, so 
debugging just using logs. And you must know about build process under Linux, for example, if you develop under Linux. If you develop under Windows, you don't need it, of course. Uh -huh. And uh, what is worth in this engine, I think for professional, you just implement uh, all the these things within UI, and you have a functionality of uh, Corona, for example, with a huge support of power from UI. So you implement basic things and you spend time for it, maybe, I don't know, 100, 100 hours, maybe. And, but you, finally you have the thing you can you have all the handles from low level to high level and uh, <coughs> the whole functionality. And for beginners, I would, I could also recommend trying more because it will give you the understanding of whole whole process of game development. And it's very cool because they just uh, go to large large company and you make your own piece of code, you, sometimes you don't know about the whole architecture, and uh, but it's very valuable thing, so, and even in Corona, it uh, hides, hides the low level things, middleware maybe, and um, that's why it's better to spend your time and start from these kind of things like more to, to become more professional. So let's... Uh, the all things I, I wanted to say and here's the slide what we are doing <coughs> in logic editor. Thank you. Now you can ask questions if you want. So uh, I don't think you mentioned it, but uh, who is <coughs> developing the MY? Is it uh, by a company or is it a group of developers? Sick line, uh, but I'm not sure they're still alive. It's a problem of mine, by the way. So, <coughs> somebody here asked, is it still alive? Why? Because the, this company is not uh, developing fast, I think, now. I don't see new games but Sick line. But, um, for example, last Double Fine Adventure was made with Moai. And uh, another title, I forget it. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> and so this uh, this is a very good situation when the author basically it was one one man who was uh, who was hired by Cipolai, and uh, one he decided to to make this. And at the first stage they used it in house as in house tool, and then. Uh, they decided to, to make uh, make it available for public. As well, they they had huge plans uh, to involve people in making games uh, with Moai, but they failed, and I didn't understand why, really, uh, because it's a very bulletproof framework. And uh, but still. And now community uh, develops and enhances uh, this uh, engine, and it's not so much people, maybe one to three, one to three, but uh, it's enough because it was released and it's, it is a feature complete in some some sense, and uh, which you will need uh, now. they are just a kind of things you you can ex acquire using. Um, Native extensions, for example, to, and 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 make some easy building. Uh, so let's. So yeah, I, I tried. I tried buying two years ago, so maybe it's inside the book. Uh, but I said thanks a lot. So everything you said is correct. It's, it's a very good engine. It's hard to get into the box. Start understanding how it works, it's, it's a really good engine. Uh, the problem that I had one was uh, the, the, the core engine code is really good, and when I think about the game, it makes me no issue, but the uh, Android content was very, very bad. <laughs> <laughs> when, when I like, had the type game, and when you run, run it on Android, there was a bug where you could see lines between the types if you scroll too fast. Uh, on the run, when code was. I don't know if it's the case. And the second issue 
identified was uh, some some was attracted by the court in the development or some by the way which was a project which was was not working well but to make sound done. If you wanted to have sound, you had to use F dot, which is I'd like to say it's some of those issues. Okay. Do you know? What do you use for sound? Uh, what do you mean? What, what library do you use for sound? For sound? Yeah, for audio. Sorry. SAM. SAM? What? For, for, for sound. Because sound. For sound. Yeah. For sound? Ah, sound. okay. Yeah, it's it's F4. Yeah, it is F4. Yeah, and it's uh, kind of a big thing. Sound. Yeah, you have to, you have to pay it. Yeah, but if you are in the developer, it's not so much in all this. If at all. Hmm? If at all. Do you have to pay as an entity? Uh, upfront? I paid it once for, for a previous game program. Okay. Who do you consider this framework to go together for someone that has no uh, game reading experience but now I use a lot for programming? Uh, maybe, but uh, still it's better to, to start from, from good things, so it's better to understand, if you'll start from it, you will better understand the, the, the whole thing, so I can recommend. And for example, in your, in your case, it, it, it's also an option for visualization of these things. You said that you visualize just putting pixels, but uh, um, it's a quite, quite, quite good thing to, to start from. Sure. This is. Uh, do you know any commercial games released with Mario? Double Pen Adventure, for example. And one, one, another one I forget. <laughs> No, oh, and uh, there is a, another one. Okay. <laughs> but well, you can Google it up, but uh, that was the release. Uh, also, uh, a few titles on iOS. Any more questions? I think it was maybe too boring. No questions. <laughs> okay. well.